Pull up in murder cash. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate. Choppers are throw away. Hustle the overweight. That's why they follow me, huh? They think I know the way. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Queen J, and I'm back with another video. And today, 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 I'm going to be. I hope my room. Let me see what's the difference. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Fenty products. I mean, I'm probably like, first of all, you're late. Um, I know. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive than what it was, um, so excuse me, my apologies Rihanna, <laughs> you're very affordable. Um, what made me get it this time around, I usually get HD Forever, where is it? Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin, so this is what I usually get. However, when I went to Sephora yesterday to get my foundation, they were all out of my shade. Um, so I was like, well, not the time. So I got, let's see, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And I also got the Fenty Beauty Highlight in Trophy Wipe. So I was excited about that. Of course, you know there's more than one. Now, before we get into the video, I'm not gonna flex. I've already used the highlighter. <laughs> I exposed. I've already used the highlighter because I tested it in the store and I wanted to see which one I wanted because obviously there's more than one. So that's what made me use it. And so after I tested it, I was like, I might as well use it. So I got it Friday, today, Sunday. So I've been using it Saturday and Sunday. However, I'm pretty sure y'all already know because, of course, people have been reviewing this. I'm late. But here it is. Y'all saw the packaging. This is the box that it came in. Y'all, I don't know if it's, like, too bright. I think it's just every video. This is the box that it came in. Fenty Beauty. Standard box. This cute. And then, I think I don't like it. And then here is how it looks. Fenty Beauty, all white. This is Trophy Wife. Here's the back. The inside. Okay. Here's the inside. I'm sorry, y'all. This light is super, super bright. But then I also... This is down down for the makeup. Okay. Here there we go. Here's what it looks like. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Look at that. It is sick, y'all. When I, I knew it was gonna be amazing because like I said, I'm late. I've seen plenty of videos, but that's an understatement because this highlight, y'all, it yeah, I just have no words like it's amazing and then you like literally the smallest swipe the smallest touch like you can see the payoff of the highlight like I'm barely rubbing it and hold up look at that look at that like I barely rubbing it and look how bright it is like super 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 bright yeah i'm gonna be getting new lighting in just a couple weeks so i don't have to keep dealing with this close-up with this spring light but this right here bomb bomb like look at my hand i barely put my hand in there and look at how it's glistening like i barely put my hand in there and look at how it's glistening look at that Look at it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just do my normal face and use this foundation. I already have some of my concealer on, if you can't tell right here. Cover up some of my little blemishes. And we just about to go in 
say I saw the packaging for the foundation. Here is the foundation itself. Like I said, I'm sure some of y'all y'all have pretty uh, already seen this. Y'all are probably already wearing it on to a new foundation, but this is my first time. So here is what it looks like. Here we go. I like the packaging. It's nice and sleek, simple, very cute. I like that. It feels like this some expensive packaging. <laughs> And I am in the color 450. So 450, and this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Oh! I wasn't expecting it to come off like that. Let me see if the top comes off a different way. Okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my face, and y'all can just watch. No. I'm reviewing. Y'all are gonna watch, but yeah. And before we get started, excuse my beauty blenders. You know when you wait too long to clean it and then it doesn't get as clean as it should? Yeah, I'll be getting some new ones tomorrow of that as well. So don't come for me. Just letting y'all know. So I'm just going to apply it. <laughs> when it decides it's ready. Like so, and I don't want to use too much at first because I don't know. I may not need all of that. Oh, yeah, I see people do this all the time when they make up videos, and I'm already upset. Y'all don't get mad when it gets stuck to y'all thing like that. Like that doesn't annoy y'all. Mm -mm -mm. That has to go. It's all nice and clean, and I just done messed it up. Already, I haven't even blended it in, and I feel like I'm about to fall in love with that better and shoot, I done paid for it now. <laughs> but I'm used to my foundation being a little bit lighter, but I feel like this is about to be perfect because I don't have a yellow undertone, I have a red undertone, but you know, sometimes it's just, you never find that perfect, perfect one going down. All right. So yeah, I'm about to just blend this in and see what's up. See how easy it blends too. So as of right now, I like how it's blending. Ooh! And I've gotten darker because it's summertime, so you know, I'm liking this already. It is, like I said, darker, a lot darker than I'm used to. Because, and I know y'all probably like, what color foundation you be wearing? Um, it's just usually like maybe a little bit lighter than my skin tone. But baby! I like this. I like it already. Like it looks very natural. And it's blending really easily. And my beauty blender is a slightly damp as well to help blend it out. And that's making it blend a lot easier as well too. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really impressed. And it's not to say that, like I said, I'm late. It's not to say that I didn't think this was gonna be good, but I'm used to like, okay, I like my foundation. I love it enough for this to be my foundation, but I'm not completely in love. Like it's not perfect. But I like this a lot already. Like, look how clean. It doesn't even look like I have on foundation. That's what's tripping me out because, like I said, my foundation, um, I use the Derma Blend Cover Cream for my dark spots on my face. That covers really, 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 really well. And then, like I said, what I have been using in the past 
because this now the bad I'm using this for now on is the makeup forever matte velvet skin and this has been my favorite one out of all the foundations i've tried in the past so this has been my favorite one but now i think Fenty's is going to be number one and this is going to be number two and they're the same price 35 36 so that's really affordable to me, if you ask me and as long as you're not excessively using it it should last you a good amount of time so i'm really impressed and i didn't use a lot because i wanted to you know like i said i wanted to start off slow I could probably use some more down here where my dark spots are, but this is really like I really, really, I'm really, really shocked. And it's not to downplay Rihanna before y'all try to come for me. I'm shocked because I haven't had a foundation that I felt like this as soon as I put it on that i have not ever felt with the foundation so far with my foundations i've used um the maybelline matte i haven't worn it in a minute i don't even remember the name of it the one you get at Wal the fit me the one you get at walmart i've used the dewy and the matte which matte works better for me because my face is very oily i like both of those for the price six dollars and some change seven dollars whatever of course i like that but it didn't cover well after a couple of hours if even that it was already starting to you know my skin come back through then i went to the makeup forever the one i just showed you but then i also bounced back and forth between that and the cat von d the cat von d i liked a lot as well too but still, I felt like I could use, a, I don't know, it was still like it was something missing. But with this, I am like already sold. Like it, it, it looks like my skin just enhanced a little. Not even a lot. Like you know how when somebody puts on their foundation, it's like, dang, you definitely got my foundation. I could tell like boo this is my face doesn't even look different like it doesn't even look like i have on foundation i'm gonna go back and look at it while i'm editing and probably put like the difference we'll see but i'm really really impressed like i'm really shocked because it doesn't even look like i have on foundation so what i'm about to do now is just go in and finish the rest of my face and come back with the highlight and y'all can just watch me do that um i don't know if i'm about to highlight my face i usually i ain't done i haven't done in a minute <laughs> like with the actual concealer and stuff yeah now what i did not do i did not get the um the finishing powder or the foundation powder that i did not get lately i've been enjoying the nyx can't stop won't stop setting powder um what shade is this medium deep so and i still have a lot of this left so that's the reason why i didn't get the foundation but this with the powder version of the foundation but best believe i am going to go back and get it but i've been enjoying this a lot and i still have a lot of this left so i didn't feel the need to go get it that's why I didn't get it. And mind you, both of those products together was $75. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, that was that. Here's this part. Why? You know what? I just realized I don't ever use that palette to highlight my face. LA Pro Girl Consumers is what I use. I told y'all I don't usually do this, so. This is why I'm looking kind of like I don't know what I'm doing because I haven't done this in a minute. a real beauty boo boo <laughs> which i am don't come for me no i'm kidding <laughs> i am but you know i got a girl on my channel got a girl you know 
you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. This is the matte one. Like I told y'all, matte is better for me. So this is the 332. This is what I'm going to use. cheekbones but thank the lord because this has no makeup i just put makeup right here like it's almost no difference and i didn't notice that until i started getting into makeup like dang my cheekbones real chiseled out here in these streets and now i'll just take the fit me again and i'll hot bite And that's it. And now I'll just go in with my powder and dust it off. Like I said, I don't really feel the need to let it sit any longer than that. And again, I'm using the Can't Stop, Won't Stop NYX Setting Powder in medium deep. And I'm going to just take that on my brush like so. And brush it away. And this is why I don't like letting it sit. If you can tell, it's like super, super light. Oh. <laughs> okay, if you keep going in, it'll go out. <laughs> Like, that's how it's supposed to be. That's where you're supposed to show the light, the areas of your face. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want my face to be out of light in them areas. I do do it for my clients, obviously, because that's a part of your full face. But me personally, I don't really care for that.
shade. Same thing, matte poreless, 360. This was also the shade that I used for the matte um, liquid foundation, 360. If you were wondering. And I will sometimes also go in with that as well. Because like I said, y'all, I'm not the biggest fan of highlighting. Unless it's just a highlighter by itself. I'm not the biggest fan. It never really has been. <laughs> When I do my clients, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, no. I just don't like it. Like, I feel like there's a white cast over my face. And I know you lying. box on my charger got a little hot so because I don't like that I'm gonna take a little bit of foundation like the tiniest amount and just just a little bit yeah I don't know why I don't like it on my face like if I do highlight I won't use the concealer I'll use just the powder. But I feel like it's a white cast. And that's not cute. And I'm really just using what's left over. Because when I mean y'all, I, I just dab what was on here. And that's it. So now time for the best part, for the best part, for the best uh, 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 part. Okay. Now time for the highlight. Oh, really? He was doing so good earlier. The highlight. Here we go. Let's open her up. Okay. lightly I mean lightly dab it because this <sighs> see that fairy dust and then let me let me get close oh my god do you Who got the proposed goods? When I say trophy wife, she ain't point. Trophy wife. Oh, I, I could put this on my whole body. Y'all think I'm playing, but I'm so serious. gonna have this for like 30 years because it's just that good like do you see the side of my face can't do you see the side of my face boo excuse the breakouts I've been having too much fun with soda boo do you see the side of my face though? Mm. 
Okay, I'm not gonna do my lashes because I'm about to record another video. I bought some other products while I was out the other day, so make sure you stay tuned for that. This video is gonna go up first, but this is my thoughts on the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So far, I'm completely in love with it. Like I said, I've never had a foundation to where when I first put it on, I felt like everything was perfect. Like everything was just A1. This foundation, I definitely do feel like everything is A1. Like I still feel like I look like myself. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup caked on. I barely use any. I mean, from what I put on my face, usually I will go back and put more with my previous foundations to make it look like how it looks now, but I barely used any. I'm completely in love with it. I feel like it just enhanced my skin. It didn't really change it or make it look like I had any foundation on. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using this for a good little minute because like I said, I barely used any. So I love this, very affordable. This was only $36. The highlight was $35, yeah, $35. So $36, $35. I feel like that's very affordable because that's what you pay, for, um, that's about what you pay for any foundation because my matte um, Forever HD foundation was $35. So I feel like it's very affordable. Like I said, I feel like it looks just like my skin, just enhanced. That's it, it looks very natural. And the highlight, y'all, come on. Look at this highlight. Come through, come through. But anyway, that's the end of this video. I'm getting ready to record another video. I'm going to record a makeup look, so stay tuned for that, because like I said, I bought new products for that as well. Make sure you like, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend to do the same. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. Mm, yeah, I need a new outro. That little bye is killing me. But I don't know yet, so. I'ma see y'all in the next video. Salvage the little bit. Young rich nigga shit. Pressure on your shoulder. How you gon' deal with it? Say it's all country. When you transition. But it's so beautiful when you get rich in it. When you start killing shit. And they all witness it. Money grow faster. Dad niggas can't spin the shit. Open more businesses with you and your niggas. That's watching your vision.